Hey everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. Today I'm here at Greensboro for Greensboro Part 2 now that it's been rebuilt and yeah I want to show you around the place. So before we get into the station I just noticed that they've got this bus can get out of the way. Um, they've got this commuter car park that they're, on, that they're building at the moment. It's going to be multi-storey and provide a bus interchange. I'm pretty sure that was part of that's being built as part of um, the federal government's commuter car park scheme, which is, well, had a lot of problems to do with it. Um, basically was pork barreling by the former coalition government. Um, and I think this, the scheme's been shut down, but at least this car park there is going to be built. So this is the entrance to Greensboro Station. I like this Greensboro Station sign, it's very clear. It's also this little strange artwork here, it's sort of like a flower. And then yeah, you walk in this way. It's quite a large concourse. And that's the entrance. I'll just keep walking along this concourse for a bit. I like the finish, it's all been very nicely done. Perhaps this is a waiting room or just other rooms. We've got lifts, miscellaneous rooms, probably to do with police. And here are the lifts. Let's take one of them down to the platform. Smells like cigarettes. <laughs> My bad, this doesn't go down to the platform, this goes down to the car park. I should have known that. It's pretty stupid. Anyway, this is a car park. There's plenty of room here. Perhaps it's because it's closed. No, it's not closed, it's just not being used at the moment. So yeah, it's quite an extensive car park here and it's gonna be even bigger once they, they complete the commuter car park that I was showing you before. Um, I'm always in favor of people taking buses to the station or walking to the station to take the bus, but the reality is that um, Melbourne's a very spread out city, so some car parks have to be provided, so it's better to provide them than, you know, just not give people the option to use public transport who live a long way away. So I guess it's good to see it being built. Here are the stairs back up. Again, they've got quite a nice finish to them. It's been quite tastefully built. That's my impression of it so far. Here's a bit more of a look at the concourse. It's customer service, it's a premium station. There are all the toilets, little waiting room in there. And then down here is the platform. We've got Neltham service arriving. Nine oh six M is leading. M is trailing. And we've got a Flinders Street service arriving. Formerly, what just happened there, two trains passing each other was not possible. Um, but that was the whole point of, well, what prompted the rebuilding of the station. They duplicated the line between Greensboro and Montmorency. 
allowing trains to pass each other. So frequency improvements. 249M is leading this service. And 39M is at the rear. You can see that this station has quite a decent amount of shelter, which is has unfortunately been a bit of a rarity for lots of the new stations that have been built or rebuilt. But Greensboro does pretty well. So before the next train comes, indeed the last train in this video comes, there's a look at the newly duplicated tracks. Looks natural now, but for a long time there was just a single track. And this is a look at the island platform which makes up the station. Unlike the former station which had strange platforms that one of which sort of extended past the other, this is a pretty ordinary looking station. The, both platforms are nearly the same length. This one here just goes a tiny bit further. Um, but they're nice and straight. So there's no gap between the train and the platform. And it all, it all just seems to work quite well. The only thing I don't like is unfortunately this wall on the left has been tagged but that's sort of expected with any sort of project. Um, another thing that's gone slightly down since the previous station is there's no longer a nice garden and nice plant life at Greensboro Station. The, the previous station had a nicely kept garden but it's still a massive improvement overall. So as we're waiting for this train to come in I'll give this station its rating. I think it is a, I'm going to say at 8 out of 10 actually. I think they've done a really good job rebuilding this station. The overpass is nice, it's pleasant. Um, it's got plenty of shelter, it's got plenty of bus connections. It's a well used station. So yeah, kudos to the designers and to all the construction workers who put this into place because Greensboro gets an 8 out of 10. All right, here's the extrapolis the last train in the video. It's a Hurstbridge service. One hundred and eighty one M is leading. Just quickly, um, it's interesting that the next Hurstbridge service actually leaves from platform one instead of platform two. So there's still a few strange movements around this, maybe because of terminating trains. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.